Hey everyone, Creepy Craft Guy here, and as you can see, we're in a bit of a different background today for, um, for a video. Again, we're back in my kitchen, uh, but, uh, I'm wearing my, uh, Team Mystic hat, yes, I'm Team Mystic on Pokemon Go, and we are back with If They Had Pokemon. Now, today I'm going to do something a little different with this, so, in the past I have done one on Jeff the Killer, Goku, and Piccolo. Uh, two of which were from Dragon Ball, and I have future Dragon Ball ones coming up as well. But today I thought I would take a different turn. So, recently I have been, um, uh, looking at and getting really interested in this indie horror game called Wick. Now, what the game is about is it's basically about you going into a woods and trying to survive from five children who were believed to have been killed by a house fire. And the five children are called Tim, Tom, Caleb, Lillian, and Benny. Uh, and um, of all of them, Tim and Tom are my favourites because not only do they work as a duo, but they're actually twin brothers. So today I'm going to be doing a sort of double one where I talk about both Tim's team and Tom's team. And see how they contrast with each other. So imagine this is a double battle of sorts. So let's start off with Tim. Now, what the themes of this of these teams are based off of are mainly not only on how they act in the game, but also on um, what collectible items they possess. Because every child in Wick has three items that you can collect, and um, you can all view them in like the main menu. So they have three items belonging to each of them. Tim's entire team is based off of his three items. So his three items consist of a mask he wears, his knife, and a gas mask. Now, um, in case you don't know, I can't really put an image on the screen right now, but in case you didn't know, Tim and Tom are most infamous for wearing these weird masks, which apparently are supposed to hide their burnt faces. Um, so the, they both have a Pokemon which represents the mask. And um, Tim has a Marowak, a regular Cantonian Marowak, to represent the mask he wears. Um, Tom also has a Marowak, but he has an Alolan one. Um, because Tom is way, like, is more of like a ghost than Tim is. If I was to describe them, sort of, Tom is more of a Slender Man, while Tim is more of a Jeff the Killer. So... So the very first Pokemon Tim has in his arsenal is Marowak, and same with Tom, but they're from different places. So Tim has Cantonian, and Tom has Al Alolan. So the other thing that represents Tim's knife is Ponyard, which is um, a pre evolved form of Bisharp. It's the one with the little blades on its hands. And um, I just thought that would very well re represent um, the knife that Tim not only does... Uh, is it a collectible item, but he also uses it in one of his jump scares. And the last thing, the, one of the hardest things I, I had to, like, do for this one, was come up with an idea of what would be good for a gas mask. And I didn't find one that was good for a gas mask, but I found one that was related to gas. So Tim's last Pokemon is a coughing. So that is Tim's team. Cantonian Marowak, Ponyard, and coughing. And now Tom's team, as we've been over already, he also has an Alolan Marowak. One of the collectible items he has in his, um, in his, like, shelf of his items is a baby rattle, and I really don't know anything about this baby rattle. Um, but considering it was a baby rattle, I decided I'd give him a baby Pokemon, and I chose Happiny, because it's the most baby one, in my opinion. I could have gone for Togepi, but I'm not really sure. Like, Happiny represents a baby a bit more to me. Uh, and the last one was a bit hard, so in case you don't know, one of the clues that we have about, like, Tom in Wick is the fact that when he was young, he had polio or something, because one of the collectible ice items he, um, he has is, an, is a leg brace, and it says that it was used for treating kids with polio in the early 1900s. I couldn't find a Pokemon that best represented a leg brace or a brace or anything, really. So in the end, I just went over to see what it would be like in his normal personality. Now, one thing Tom is good for is that he is actually very quickly uh, moves and um, and he teleports. So I thought I'd give him a Kadabra, considering to represent all that teleporting. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. So just to recap, Tim's team consists of Cantonian Marowak, Ponyard and Coughing, and Tom's team is Alolan Marowak, Hapini and Kadabra. Now, I know this was a bit of a weird one and a bit brief as well, but I honestly really do like this game, and I encourage you to go check it out. So, um, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.